how often do you think about giving up? I'm thinking about it every day. I mean, every single day, no matter what I do, no matter what I start, if I don't succeed straight away, all I'm thinking about is about giving up, about giving up everything I do. And it's day seven of me not giving up, making videos every single day. Often, nothing annoys me more than motivational videos. But sometimes nothing helps me more than watching some kind of motivational videos. If I have to choose one skill which I could have like really strong, one skill which I could share with other people, that would be the skill of not giving up, you know? I have three kids. My kids are already grown up, you know, they all are 18, 17, 20 years old and I have to talk with them a lot. And you know one thing I'm always telling them, no matter what you do, never ever give up. And you know, it's the hardest thing in life. You know, I gave up so many times, like I'm ashamed to admit, but I gave up more than I didn't give up. Yeah, it is so easy to talk about not giving up when things are going great, you know, when you're doing well, it's so easy to show an example. It's, it's so freaking easy, you know, to inspire others or just to think to yourself that you're inspiring others, you know, but what to do if you yourself want to give up every single day, no matter what you do, seems you do way worse than others. No matter what you think, it seems not going towards your goals, you know? And I face that every day. And pretty often, you know, I'm guilty of thinking that I'm the only one who has this issue. And I'm the only one who has these problems. And you know, it's the same. Why I love challenges. Why I love challenging myself. Because, you know, each time when I challenge myself, the main thing I do, I try to overcome all doubts I have. And I can admit one more time, I gave up way more times in my life than I didn't. But each time, when I do not give up, it's a surprise. You know, sometimes it's a surprise of failure. If you're afraid to fail, if you are afraid to be ashamed, like if you are afraid that people are gonna laugh at you, gonna make fun at you, you know, it's difficult to, su to succeed in anything you do. Like, for me, I like to be a fool. Not because it's fun, but because the results are surprisingly interesting. If I could draw the line, you know, how failure works, I can tell you what I think about my YouTube challenge, about, uh, about my YouTube channel. You know, doesn't matter what you do, you know, usually things like that, they go either the way they were or they're going down at the beginning. But pretty often, you know, I notice I like to give up here. But if you're strong enough, you're stubborn enough, at least that works for me, you know, and you do not give up pretty often after a long, 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 Fuck, it's a really long line. Long, 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 long. Long, 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 long line. Long line. You can start going up. And you know, this is what fucks me up each time. This line is so fucking long. And I really hope that this time I'm, I'm going to overcome that. If you hate motivational videos the same way that I do uh, I'm sure this video is not for you or maybe for you but I know for sure this video is for me you know the moment I committed myself in doing videos every single day I'm not stepping into something new all my life so far has been only challenges and you know, 
No one is tougher than life. No one is stronger than life. But some people like me like to be either challenged and win in those challenges or either break in those challenges. I've tried many different lifestyles, you know, and I think that's connected with the ADHD that I have. You know, and nothing hurts my soul more, nothing hurts my mental health more than living calm, stable, unchallenged life. You know, I have two states of mind. One is where I'm tired of all challenges, and the other one is where, when I'm tired of not having any challenges. My life is usually like the roads in Norway, either uphill, either downhill. But if being honest, uh, so far I wouldn't change a single fucking thing. Because no matter what I did, no matter if I succeeded or not, no matter what I faced in my life, my experiences and the shit I'm going through made me the kind of person I am. And I know, like, it's not something to flex about. I'm not the most interesting guy in this world. I'm not the most attractive, I mean, as a personality. I'm not the nicest. I'm not the richest. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the funniest. But I am me. And I feel comfortable with myself. And so far, that's one of my main achievements. Yeah, I know, you know, it's, it's, we have to care about way more things than only ourselves. But you can do any good to other people. You cannot take care of your family unless you feel comfortable with yourself, you know, because you face difficult situations and different situations every single fucking moment. And you have to deal with that. And there's no time for each of us to be a victim. There's no time for each of us, you know, just to focus on ourselves. So that's why nothing is more important than feeling good with yourself. Because if you don't love yourself the way you are right now, no matter what change you're going through, it doesn't mean you're gonna start loving yourself. You know, hate inside you, hate for yourself, hate for other people. That's the shit that destroys you. That's the shit that makes you worse. That's the shit that makes you doubt yourself, you know? There's nothing worse than hate. Hate make us do terrible things to ourselves. Hate makes us do terrible things to other people. If you want to give up, just try not to for the last time. You know, I have this depression. I told about that in, in, in some previous videos. And it's not something that I wear as a flag, you know, with me all the time. But it's a part of me. And I know how it feels when it hits you out of nowhere. I know how it feels when you hate yourself. I know how it feels when being alive is your least favorite thing. But there's one thought that helps me each time when I feel like shit. You will always have time to die. Like, it's gonna happen to everyone. But one thing you can do is try one more time. And if you don't succeed, you can do it again. And if you lost everything you have, this is what I think to myself all the time then new possibilities opens for you because you have no limits you have nothing that that limits you from doing what you can do but this one goes to everyone that feels like shit this one goes to everyone that feels the same as i do if you want to quit if you want to give up just remember you will have time to do that but now just try one more time and you know, today I think I completed my task. I didn't give up. I can admit I had those thoughts. 
each day when I wake up now I think no I'm not gonna do this video I feel like shit I don't want to do it I watch my previous videos like there are only few views and like oh fuck I'm so boring like you know I look like shit I sound like shit that's what I'm thinking every time when I post a video but I know that when I com will complete my task will complete my challenge I know after that challenge I'm gonna challenge myself more and that line that I draw on the snow it's gonna come to the moment when it's gonna rise so this is my video for today it's a motivational video but this is my video for today don't give up guys and try one more time thanks to everyone that's watching me thanks to everyone that watched my videos before watching this video have a nice evening and see you tomorrow